Hey everybody, welcome back to Summit. My name is Mark. We're taking a look at the seventh Sunday in Ordinary Time. How many enemies do you have? Wow, Mark, it's kind of a dark way to start a summit. Yeah, how many enemies do you have? Maybe not enemies, not mortal enemies, but how many people rub you the wrong way, right? You, you just kind of, if you see them coming, eh, you kind of avoid them, right? Maybe they're in class, maybe, um, hopefully they're not in youth group, but maybe there's some, some certain people in your life who's like, eh, okay. Now, how many people consider you like that? Right? Maybe you don't consider them like that, but they consider you like that. You just kind of rub them the wrong way. We all have people in our life we don't necessarily see eye to eye. We don't always get along. And it's really easy to just dismiss those people. Right? Uh, they're walking down the street, I'll walk down the side of the street. Not because of COVID, just because of you. Right? It's easy to write people off. It's easy to dismiss people, keep people at arm's length. You know, it makes, makes life generally happier, easier. And I'm not saying certainly that you should go you know, push yourself to be friends with people who are mean to you or abusive to you. Not at all. Not at all. Not, not saying that. But I'm saying that there are people in our life who it's just easier to sort of write off than it is to love, okay? Now, this is the challenge, and this is what the, the, the gospel this week is talking about. Jesus has a lot of hard teachings, a lot of hard sayings. We usually tend to focus on the easy ones, you know, love thy neighbor. That's pretty easy, right? This week he says, love your enemies. Love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Wow. Okay, hang on. If I'm one of the apostles, I'm looking at Jesus, I'm going, time out. Love my enemies. If, I, if he slaps me on one cheek, give my other cheek to slap me again. Like, that's just, that's just bad. That just sounds like I'm just, you know, in a toxic, abusive relationship. It's not what he's saying. He's saying that you have to rise above. You have to put on love. You, if you want to walk, you know, be like Christ, be a Christian, a little Christ, that you have to lo love like he loves. And that is to look at those enemies and to love them. As he's being crucified, what does he do? He forgives the people crucifying him. As he's being mocked by the criminal, he's forgiving the criminal on the cross. My brothers and my sisters, Christianity is not easy. It's not for the weak. It's not for the faint of heart. It's not for the selfish. Christianity is a challenge. And it's a beautiful challenge. Can you love your enemies? If I said to you, your only goal this week is to go love the crap out of people who are mean to you or who are rude to you or who want nothing to do with you. I know, I'm getting in trouble. Sometimes I'm having emails. I'm like, crap. Oh, no. Seriously. If that was your mission this week, how well are you doing at it? Because I'm not doing well. I got a lot of people who can't stand me, and I'm probably not doing a great job loving them. And now this is like a challenge to me. I got to go do better. I have to go offer mercy to them. You know, everybody's got a cross they're carrying. It's a great way to walk through life, to look at the people around you and say, their cross is heavy too. In fact, to go into life and say, everyone's cross is heavier than mine. I don't know if it is, but if you walk through life with that perspective, that person's carrying a cross too. That person's hurting too. All of a sudden, you unlock and unleash mercy and compassion. That's what God's calling you to. Go be mercy to those who don't deserve it. Go be love to those who are not loving. Go bless those who have cursed you. And in doing so, you could turn their heart. In doing so, you could help save their soul. In doing so, you've become what Christ calls you to be. And that is a miniature version of himself, a Christian, a little Christ. My brothers and my sisters, no one said it's easy. Hey, you know, if you want easy, there's other belief systems. Our symbol is a cross for crying out loud. It's not going to be easy. And that's part of the beauty and part of the challenge. Because if you wake up with air in your lungs today, God's not done with you yet. You have a mission to fulfill. Go out and love somebody who doesn't deserve it most likely. But love them because they do deserve it, because they have dignity, and because they're, they're God's creation. Go offer mercy to someone who does not deserve your mercy. Go offer forgiveness to someone who has not asked for forgiveness. Just go love and watch how lives change, beginning with your own.